morning everyone so um this is the next um in um, test drives that i'm doing uh this time i've come to uh renault renault and milton Keynes, just because i hopefully should be um around for a ride later uh in milton Keynes uh, with the carver uk lot um a bit disappointed like the first first thing you notice when you turn up says customer parking and there isn't any parking I've just had a quick kind of drive past uh, one of those areas and the immediate impression is it's tiny compa even compared to the i3 um, but I'm going to give it a fair shout um, it's within the budget um, it's got a decent range it's got now got like obviously the, the faster charging it's got the split rear seat so when I first test drove a um, a Zoe back uh, before the i3 uh, when I was looking around for uh, my first electric car it just didn't fit you know it had, it had slow charging didn't have you know CCS uh, at the time um, the split rear seats was a problem because obviously uh, we had a, a newborn um, so we needed to make sure that we could get stuff in and, and stuff like that so um, it'd be interesting to see what the test driver is like um, again it's um, I haven't asked to film and I don't know whether I'm going out on my own or with somebody else. So um, again, if I can't, then um, I'll try and give a little look round and my impressions after the test drive. Hi guys, so I'm here in um, the Renault Zoe. Um, dr Drive-wise, I think it's, it's okay. Um, it's it's a nice car to drive to be honest it's you know it's smooth it's it's well i don't particularly like the gear shift the way um it's just a bit awkward um i think it, I, I, it, it kind of couple of couple of presses here and there but i mean that's just personal preference um i think some of the materials in here are really nice um some of the some of the quality on the steering wheel and the and the dash are quite nice they um, the, the the doors just feel a little bit plasticky um but you know it's a it's a cheaper car um entertainment system okay i think i don't think it's particularly fantastic um the the sat nav is okay but it's it's a little slow um one thing that um i think could be better is that the um the heads up or the display in front of you um, I don't know, and this could be something that you need, you can configure, so comments below if you know. Um, but the percentage and the mileage left is a bit small. I think that could be different, and if you can reconfigure those, then that's fantastic. Um, having maybe the sat-nav, having the sat-nav in front is good, um, as well as obviously on the on the screen. Um, obviously, still got a few buttons here, and not everything's via the touch screen, so that's, um, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still on the fence about that, like having driven the Tesla and that be pretty much all touchscreen and something with buttons and touchscreen. Um, I'm still not convinced that all touchscreen is the way forward, but that just might be, um, again, something to get used to. Um, so we're gonna have a look in the back and then in the boot and see what size wise. Uh, my initial impressions when I turned up is that it's a smaller car than the i3, uh, which is something I didn't wanna go. The range is obviously a lot better. Um, you know, this is 200 mile range car, which is which is great. And we're in we're in winter now in the UK, so you know that's a realistic range, which is good. Um, I always think if you're going to test drive a car, test drive it in cold weather or winter. You'll get the um, you'll understand what range you're really going to get. Um, so you know, overall. Not as small as I thought it was going to be. Uh, rear seats, enough for two people, child in the back and one on the side, so that's good. Um, it's a reasonably deep boot, actually. I was quite surprised. That's pretty good, and it's quite deceptive from the outside. Um, I'm not particularly a big fan of the little hatch on the rear doors. That seems a bit, you know, not, not particularly great um, and a bit plasticky. Um, I mean, inside interior is, is is quite nice to be honest. It's it's a it's a nice car. Um, the Zoe's are really sturdy, really well built. Generally, they're quite solid. Um, 
the acceleration didn't blow me away my i3 definitely has got a uh, more punch i think um model 3 obviously um has as well um driving wise like i said it's good the one uh the or the the, the braking didn't seem as um strong a regen again not sure if you can change that if you can comments below let me know if you can do that but it didn't seem as strong as as, as the i3 it's in brake mode where you know you obviously left your, your your foot off the um the accelerator and it breaks for you um yeah there's 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 probably a few things that i don't particularly like about it again i like like zoes i think they're they're a really great car but i'm not sure this is going to be for me um there's a few, again this is a car i'm going to have to live with for sort of three years on a lease so um if I do it, it needs to be it needs to be spot on, it needs to be perfect. I need to love it, as well as obviously all the practical stuff around rain, the range and the size, and everything else like that. I wanted to test drive one of these because I've never, apart from the original, I've never test drove one of the newer um, Zoe's, um, and I can say they've they've built a fantastic uh, a fantastic car. I think it's it's great. I think if you're in the market for your first ev it's definitely a good start with the with the range you're not going to have range anxiety especially in the uk having 200 miles you can you, you know you can get most places with that um and now with the fast charging on it or rapid charging um you know you're not going to have any problems there as well so if you're looking for a a first ev then i think this is definitely a a, a good start off car um yeah every, everything else to be honest i think is 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 quite good it's still got a cigarette lighter in here um i'm not sure we need those anymore uh now we've got like um you know usb c's and things like that in here which they're two at the front two at the back so that's nice um the glove box is a little bit useless there's not really much space in there um and yeah generally i i, I think everything you know seems seems to be quite nice and I think that's that's my kind of overall impressions. It's quite nice. Um, I think if you buy one, you, you'll you'll love it. You know, um, I think though coming from an i3, it feels smaller than the i3. The i3 is quite unique in the fact that it doesn't have central pillars and everything else. So it's generally a, feels a bit bigger. Um, but I, I I think we need something a bit bigger now uh, for the family. And I'm not saying Tesla. Uh, I, that's the first car I've, I've driven I'm going to try and drive a couple more um, it is still coming back to the Tesla at the moment for various reasons um, I've driven a Polestar 2 already so I know what that's like so I'm finding out about a lease on that as well because um, that is a, a, a close comparison in all honesty between the Model 3 um, that's something that I really, really did like when I drove it. So um, if you haven't seen that, check out the, um, the video to that. I'll pop a, a pop a link for that. Um, if you haven't seen that already, that's that was a fantastic car. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'm going to go for another little um, test drive, and we'll uh, we'll wrap it up uh, when I get back to the garage. I'm sure they were going to want to talk finance and buying and everything else. So, but you know, I'm here for a test drive and then looking for leases. So. Um, I will say a big thank you to uh, to the garage uh, that I hired this from today. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. It's already waiting for me. Sort out your customer parking though. No, that's um, that's a bit bit rubbish. Um, I'll put a link to the garage below as well. So if you've got any inquiries, check them out. They're in Milton Keynes. And um, yeah, closing thoughts next. So uh, closing thoughts on the Renault Zoe. Nice car not for me um bit too small smaller than the i3 uh range was great um so that was good sat nav i didn't particularly like and the the general kind of screen it felt a little bit clunky but you know again it's just personal preference um boot surprisingly big for a for a small car so that was that was a good plus as well um i think a generally pretty well built car I just don't think it's for us. Um, I don't think it's got the size that we need now. Um, I think it's time for a, a, a bigger car, whatever that may be. Um, uh, thank you for Brayley's at Milton Keynes for the test drive. That's much appreciated. 
and um, yeah, I don't think I'll be progressing with the Zoe. I still want to do an ID3, maybe an ID4. I'm not sure about the ID4 now, really. Um, after a few reviews, um, and obviously Iris thinks is um, a review of the ID4 as well. Um, it seems to be a big car with kind of the same size battery as the ID3, which doesn't really make it particularly efficient. Um, so I don't know, um, maybe ID3 next. Um, and like I said previously, I'm gonna have a look and see how much the lease is on the Polestar. I would really like one of those. Um, but I don't know whether the finances are gonna work out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'll be interested to know what Zoe owners out there think. If you've come from a different EV, and gone to a Zoe, that would be that would be helpful because I'm coming from an i3, you know, would be going to a Zoe. So um, I'm certainly not against it. I think it's a really nice car and a great car, but I just don't think it's for me personally. Um, but yeah, let me know what you, in the comments below. Um, two cars so far, Model 3 and the Renault Zoe, ID3 next. Um, and then I'm probably gonna make a decision towards the end of November so this is being filmed 2021, the end of November. Any car I order really has got, you know, you can't get it until about February time anyway. So I'm gonna to have to order probably towards the end of this month. And if I order, I'm then gonna to have to look to sell the i3 and then try and work out something in between that time. So yeah, that was my closing thoughts. Um, let me go, let, uh, let me know what you think guys. Um, let me know what you think of, uh, you know, the, the Model 3 so far, the Zoe, um, Polestar, if you own one of those. Um, and, um, yeah, till next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.